From candidate to vice president, how does it feel at Jose? Then, Asasa. Um, of course, a human Asasa, a human Oye as candidate, you no, know, it's a bit different from a human Oye as vice president. Yeah. As as vice president, you no, know, um, me me boss and mommy, um, Juma said a major economic management team and also overseeing a lot of other things uh, uh, he has asked me to do. Wa uh, unim say, constitution no, and I am my vice president in a specific role. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. What you can do is what your boss asks you to do. Well, yeah. and he, um, Say the assassin said, "Yeah, a human assassin." So we are we sort of working on the agenda of the president. Uh, yeah, deliver on what we have promised and what you know he has promised and what he wants us to deliver. So, sana assassin. Otherwise, but for me personally, dear. I'm still the same. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I'm not seeing any change in me. Yeah. Well, you've put on weight. Uh, okay, a little uh, bit. Oh, I can see it. And now I send an answer. We could try photo me. No, mra who swear in inauguration. Yeah, yeah. The compare Nancy. Yeah. I would say. You know. So maybe actually, uh, you know, my put on weight. <laughs> the, the stress but, of the job. Uh, well, yeah. Any late night eating. No. So oh. we are. We are. We are. We are. On it, yeah, your course. We are, we are, we are doing more exercise now. <laughs> I see. But who can you know? Now, nah, Mekai or Mantra as running mate. Yes. People are suffering. I know. I don't know. That, Ghanaians are mantra. suffering. Yes. And your kind. But in spite of Nyama which you know, I say economy near better. See, 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 can any of them? What it is? So Nyama ni bise. I say a man for be suit patch. I say people are suffering. I da so hope. Um, mm. Napku, our boy, he has his challenges. Free SHS, all the challenges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One village, one down, one district. One. Yeah. You know, one the challenges. Oh, yeah. In Sa Nyama, okay, Nipano, people feel it. I am, uh, Kwame, I think that, um, as for challenges, dear, I mean, you say there's any country in the world, uh, only challenges on anything, mm -hmm. but the important thing, they say. You do things to bring relief to people. When we came, for example, electricity prices, even under Dumso, were going up by 45% annually, average. Mm -hmm. Even under Dumso. What will be that? Dumso was there and we were increasing electricity prices, 45% on average. They had cancelled teacher training allowance. 
the, so the teachers were suffering. Households were, were suffering. They, they, they had cancelled nursing training allowance. They were suffering. The, the, the teachers were being paid two to three months for two to three years of work. Uh, so they were also suffering. You know? So we had uh, the NHIS became almost cash and carry. So people who were using the health system were suffering. Access to ambulance was not there. You know, and many rural areas were suffering because basic infrastructure was not there. Uh, and people could not pay their children's school fees to go to school. So when you know, it created um, a, an environment of, of uh, increased hardship. Uh, and when we came in, no, we are not saying we've eliminated hardship, and yes, sir, but we have reduced it tangibly. So uh -huh. re electricity prices have come down by about 11% cumulatively. I mean, 11%. NDC war on cumulatively electricity went up by 265%, you know, cumulatively. Um, free SHS, Saba. It is helping reduce the suffering of our people. Napko Aba graduate unemployment is reducing. They, 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 it is reduced. 100,000 people are being employed, uh, and that is very, very important. The Zongo Development Fund is providing um, um, some infrastructure in Zongos today. Uh, one district, one factory is providing jobs. Uh, one village, one dam is providing water to farmers that need it, planting for food and jobs. And also, it's helping a lot of farmers across mm -hmm. the country. And this is why when we say your food production, it has gone up very significantly. And we are even exporting foods now rather than importing. And that is a major uh, benefit to us. So Ampa, well, we, we haven't eliminated suffering, but compared to the before Bayano, we have reduced it. And this is why we need to continue and, and continue to reduce it more. And that is what, inshallah, we want to do in our next term. Well, creative arts is a major. Yeah. No, I think that um, creative arts um, is a very, very key. I, I think that, for, for, I mean, if you look at the manifesto, we are saying that creative arts, no, a major pillar because there's so much talent our creative arts mm. so yeah, the support no koma omoa it will help us a lot a lot of the talent uh, is there but having access say to recording studios for example to go and record and and uh, their music and all of other things it's a problem it's a real problem and so what we said is that we will work with the private sector to put in recording studios in, in, in the major places like Tamale, Kumasi, Takradi, and Accra, where they can rent. They don't have to put up their own. They can just go and rent the space and do the music and all of that. We, we, we've also set up uh, the Creative Arts Bill has gone through cabinet, uh, and it will definitely go to parliament when parliament comes back in October, and we hope we can see if we can pass it. I don't know. I hope so. But a creative arts bill is going to create a creative arts fund, right? And that will also help the, 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 the creative arts. Mm -hmm. Recently, uh, when the mid-year budget review was done, you saw that the creative arts uh, was given, I think, close to 50 million Ghana cities to help cushion them from the impact of COVID, uh -huh. you know. So I think that we, we need to do this and also continue uh, and also build theaters, like we have said, we want to build a theater in Kumasi, we want to build a theater in Tamale, we want to build a theater in, in, in Takradi and so when, on. So when will it start? Because we want to build it here. Yeah. yeah Res Respectfully, it will be a bit me and It's a manifesto, no, I don't know. The, the manifesto is your intention uh -huh. to build. So we, we, we are declaring that intent, uh, but we are saying specifically, say, creative arts, no, we want to give it a focus. We want to consider it as a major growth pool in this economy. You can create a lot of jobs in creative arts, and we should invest in creative arts. And that is what we are saying in the manifesto. In the creative arts for our mommy pressure, 
Um, hmm. Thank you. 